CBS 46 has learned a teenager is now in jail, accused of killing a man in Brookhaven. We showed you this scene live at 530 last night. Police had swarmed the Parktown North Apartments. CBS 46's Haley Mason shows us every Brookhaven murder this year shares one thing in common. Brookhaven police tell me that in every murder they've had this year in this city, the gunman has been a teenager. They're now trying to figure out what led to this latest life being taken. Chopper 46 flew over the scene of the Parktown North Apartments Thursday afternoon after police found 37 year old Freddie Mendoza shot to death at the complex off of North Cliff Valley Way in Brookhaven. Police say Thursday night family members turned in 18 year old Oscar Lopez as a suspected killer. Another person was questioned but is not considered a suspect. They've had the opportunity to speak to several witnesses in the area and at this point we're the really are not sure what led up to the shooting. Uh, there's no indication that there was a fight that took place prior to that. Uh, our investigators are working to try and understand what if any relationship the victim and the offenders have. Lopez is charged with malice murder and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, adding to a sobering statistic in Brookhaven and other metro cities where teenagers are behind some of the most most deadliest crimes. This is of tremendous concern to the police department, right? Uh, the city of Brookhaven has had three murders this year. In all three of those cases, the offender was 18 or younger. We're deeply concerned about this issue of violence with our young people. The police department says it's trying to piece together if gang activity is a factor. Certainly uh, whether or not there's a gang affiliation is an angle that the police department's interested in pursuing, um, particularly when we see young people, young offenders, uh, we're concerned about whether or not they have a gang affiliation. So that will be part of this investigation. Brookhaven police are still trying to get information on exactly what happened during this shooting. They're asking anyone who may know anything to give them a call. Reporting in the city of Brookhaven, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.